Missed Wednesday's show? Here's the RE cap presented by Honda. He's Super Bowl champion cornerback of the New England Patriots, Stephon Gilmore. And when you think about your football career so far, kind of describe the feeling from going from where you're at in Buffalo, just trying to contend to in two straight years now, getting to the Super Bowl and then finally winning one. You know, Buffalo got drafted there. They gave me a great opportunity. You know, I loved it there, but we just didn't, you know, accomplish much there. We had an opportunity to be a New England Patriot. You know, two Super Bowls back to back and tribute as much as I can. You know, you, you just never know how it's going to go. But I'm happy that I'm in New England now and they gave me the opportunity to come here and, and help this team win. Just a picture of LeBron James at the end of the bench with three seats open right next to him. The fans right. chanting to the players that LeBron's going to trade you. I don't know how else to say it, Kirk. I think it's a, it's a complete disaster when it comes to the lack of ability to try to control the chemistry, I guess, in that locker room. Not that LeBron would ever admit it, but, you know, my two cents would be his decision a while back to talk openly about Anthony Davis and the idea that he would love to play with him. I understand giving respect to your peers, but it, it, you know, unfortunately, you know, what comes with that is the danger of disrespect to your teammates. And now it's playing out in a, in a really real time kind of way. I mean, I've been in Lakers locker room plenty this year, and I'm not kidding you, maybe more than any locker room in the entire league, you walk in there post game and every single guy is on his phone. You got a bunch of guys on expiring contracts or young players who know that they might get shipped. It's just a, a bad, bad situation. And after Saturday's game against the Golden State Warriors, there was, you know, rumors of coaches, players kind of going back and forth or whether it was the players going against Luke Walton. How has this taken a toll on Luke Walton having to kind of navigate it and keep the team together when so much is going on outside of the locker room? I think the initial reports of what happened in the locker room after Saturday's game were a little bit exaggerated. And what I was told when I asked around about it, it was kind of more like a normal NBA back and forth. It's the kind of discussion that that is tense and is something that you want to avoid, but happens from time to time. It was never close to being a physical situation. It was it simmered down pretty quickly. So that's that's kind of what I heard about that. But it's definitely a very tense time for a lot of these guys. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.